Military personnel and their families often receive certain allowances when they PCS. Can you share and kind of just elaborate um, on the best ways, kind of maybe even what they are and the best ways to make use of them? Right. Okay. So the first one that comes to mind for me is the TLA and the TLE. You know, one you receive for temporary housing when you're on CONUS and one when you're um, inside the United States. And these are really just uh, meant to partially pay members back for expenses that they incur during a PCS while they're in temporary lodging um, for, you know, eating and, and paying for that lodging. Um, and then there's also a dislocation allowance, which is um, meant to pay back, you know, expenses that you incur that you may not be reimbursed for. So things like rental cars and replacing the food in your home that you couldn't bring with you or your cleaning supplies. You know, really those fees and those expenses that you get, um, you know, that you incur when you're moving into and setting up a new home. Right. Um, it's not a loan and you can actually get it in advance. I mean, they're based on your pay grade and whether you have dependents or not. Um, and again, we talked about being prepared as one of the key things. So you can look up those um, allowances in advance on travel.dod.mil um, and see exactly what you're going to be reimbursed for, right? So you want to make the best of those um, by knowing what, you know, back to that spending plan and that budget, um, a PCS, I like to think of it as a good time to refresh all of your finances, right? It's a fresh start, a, a new perspective, a new place. Um, but you really want to know what those allowances are, what you're going to be um, getting, and then try to create that budget to stay within that limit. 